Did you know Egypt is building one of the largest artificial river, which costing around $5 billion? But why, why Egypt is spending $5 billion on an artificial river when there is already the Nile River? Egypt, a country known for ancient architecture, rich culture, and its famous Nile River. But in recent years, Egypt's population is growing approximately 1.5 million people every year. According to United Nations, population of Egypt is growing by 1.6% annually. Currently, Egypt has nearly 113 million people, making it most populous country in the Arabic countries. Egypt is also 14th most populated country in the world. Meanwhile, 96% of Egypt's land area is desert, and other 4% of area is abundant because of urbanization, as results Egypt is losing its farmland. Because of less farmland, Egypt is heavily reliant on importing food from other countries. Currently, Egypt is second importer of the wheat after China. In 2023, Egypt imports around 50% of its food. These imports cost nation around $15 billion a year. And unfortunately, with this rate of growing population, Egypt will heavily reliant on importing food to feed its over 100 million people, unless it can acquire new agricultural land for its domestic food production. So to overcome this problem, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi announced the new Delta Project. It will become world's largest artificial river, hoping to irrigate over 9,200 square kilometer of area. In short, Egypt is trying to make a gigafarm of epic proportions, set to transform the barren land into a thriving wonderland. This ambitious project, scheduled for completion by 2025, is truly awe-inspiring. Imagine an enormous river winding through hundreds of kilometers of new roads, residential areas, two gigantic power stations, and the world's largest water-cleaning facility. It's like a real-life wonderland emerging from the desert sands, all done in just three years. The new Delta project will redirect agricultural wastewater from the Rosetta branch of the Nile River that would usually flow into the Mediterranean into a new artificial river. This artificial river will travel 50 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast before turning inland near the edge of the Nile Delta. Ten three-meter diameter underground pipes will then transport the water under existing farmland before resurfacing 22 kilometer away in the desert. Finally, another 42 kilometers of artificial river will carry the water through the desert to the massive Al-Hammam water treatment plant, which will treat 7.5 million cubic meters of water a day. 125 kilometer to the east of this, another 42 kilometer of pipes and artificial river will be built transferring additional water from the upstream Nile to the desert together, these two sources along with groundwater that will be desalinated and will be used to irrigate 4,400 square kilometer of new agricultural land as part of the project's first phase. Eventually, though, this area will be extended to over 9,200 square kilometer in the second phase. This new land will be called the New Delta and will be the largest agricultural project in Egyptian history. Once complete, it will increase Egypt's agricultural land area by 23% while covering an area 42% of that of the Nile River Delta. The New Delta will primarily be used to grow wheat, corn, and other crops for domestic use. However, it will also be used to grow vegetables, fruit, and herbal plants for export with its close proximity to existing roads and ports, including the Daba Corridor. It will be strategically positioned for both these domestic and international markets lastly surrounding the farms. Industrial complexes will be established for dairy products, meat packing, food processing, and preparing produce for export. In total, the new Delta project will cost $9.7 billion, from which $5.2 billion will be, for the 114-kilometer-long artificial river, which will be the largest of its kind in the world. Egypt faces a serious and deadly one, a severe water crisis. With the population exploding and expected to reach 115 million people in 2024, Egypt struggles to get enough water for everyone— the once green and fertile lands now struggle to stay alive, and they've had to ration water and transport it by trucks to remote towns and villages. This is a big issue because Egypt has one of the worst water deficits in Africa. Experts warn that they might run out of usable water by 2025. A real concern. To make things even more challenging, there's Ethiopia's Renaissance Dam. 
It's a huge structure built near the Sudanese border to generate electricity for Ethiopia, but it's causing problems for Sudan and Egypt. The dam reduces the flow of the Blue Nile River, affecting water supply to these countries. It even caused tensions and almost led to a war. To be prepared for any disasters, Egypt is constructing the new Delta project equipped with gates and tunnels to handle sudden rises in the Nile River levels if the Renaissance Dam were to collapse. Beyond these issues, Egypt has to deal with climate change and increased desertification. While about 20% of the country can be used for farming, they can only use 5% because of water shortages. So they end up importing a lot of essential foods like wheat, yellow corn, and cooking oil. This is bad news because they should be growing and exporting these foods instead. Here's why this is super important. Egypt's agricultural sector plays a big role in their economy. It contributes 14% to the country's total income and provides jobs for nearly 30% of the population in rural areas. So, the new Delta project is essential because it will help around 5 million families, which is around 40 million people, who depend on farming, livestock, and food industries for their livelihoods. The new Delta project is more than just a remarkable engineering feat. It's a symbol of hope, resilience, and determination. It shows that even in the harshest environments, people can find solutions to their problems. At the end, thanks for watching this video. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.